Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and this week I'm going to be finally tying up all of the loose ends to do with any of the remaining species. I want to finish off all of their behaviours, all their settings, add any final particle effects or death animations to plants or trees that need it and basically just finish off all of the species in the game. So starting off today where I left off last week which is with the carnivorous fish and I have now completely finished their hunting behaviour uh, but there is just one slight problem which you might be able to notice here so that is obviously the next thing that I'm going to be working on today. Eleven o'clock now and the issue with the fish going onto the land is now fixed so you can see that even if the fish are being chased towards the land uh, when the water gets too shallow they'll actually just turn around and swim off in a different direction and I also just did the same thing for the sheep to make sure the other way around and to make sure that the sheep don't flee into the water. Just made one more addition to the fish's hunting system which is that it now gives up the chase after a certain amount of time just to make sure that it doesn't chase the fish around the whole world if the other fish is fast enough. Um, so you can see here that after a while the big fish just gives up chasing the little fish. So it's the end of the morning now, I'm going to have some lunch in a minute, uh, but the carnivorous fish are now completely finished, all of their hunting behaviour works, so they chase fish, they catch fish and eat them, and when they eat the fish there is actually a particle effect, um, but you can't see it unfortunately because of a transparency issue with the water, but that will obviously be fixed before release. But yeah, apart from that, everything else to do with these fish is now finished. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday morning. Didn't really get much else done yesterday afternoon because I had a few other things to do. But today I'm going to try my best to finish off everything to do with the hunting system and the fleeing system. Next up I've been doing a bit of work on the species files and I can now put some more information in here to specify exactly how the animals should behave. So for example in the flea components I can now specify whether the animal is able to flee onto the land or into the water. So this is the file for the fish, so the fish can only flee into the water, but if this was a beaver for example then it would be able to flee both onto land and into water. And I've also just started work on a new feature for the fleeing component which is going to allow the animals to run and hide under an object instead of just running away and uh, this here is going to specify which objects they can hide under. So uh, this is the classification ID of the object. ER is the classification for rocks, and I can make it more specific if I want. So I could put L for large rocks, or S for small rocks. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to actually implement this hiding behavior. But first, it's a very nice day, so I'm going to go for a quick morning run in the park. Halfway through implementing these new hiding spot things, so you can see that these little fish all hide in the rocks when the big fish comes past, and they'll stay in those rocks until the fish is far enough away, and then they'll come out when it's safe. And um, basically whenever anything's fleeing it will now search for a hiding spot, and if there's one nearby it will go there instead of trying to run away. I've also just implemented the hiding behaviour for the beavers here as well, so I can show you this as another example. So the beavers will now actually flee into their den, and when they're in their den, the predators aren't able to attack them. So this afternoon I'm moving on from the hunting and fleeing components because they're now basically finished and I'm going to be getting back to going through those lists that you might remember from before and just finishing off any last loose ends to do with the species, uh, whether it's adding particle effects or death animations or finishing off any little bugs. And the first species that I've been working on is the deer, and you can see some prancing around in the fields here. So it is now Friday morning and for the last day and a half I've just been going through those species as I said 
Um, it's mostly been things like just tweaking the models, um, updating the colors if some of them were still using the old color scheme, and also doing things like indicating for trees, indicating where birds can land on them and what kind of wood they drop when beavers cut them down, and just lots of boring settings like that. So first up this morning, back to work on the hunting component. There's still a couple of little things to fix. And first up, I've just been working on the hauling component, which is the component which makes the fox pick up the meat. And you can see that the fox now waits by the dying sheep uh, for the meat to appear before it picks it up and carries it off instead of just running off straight away. Next up today I've just been doing a little bit of work on the movement code and that has allowed me to now make sure that the fox is always facing its target before it actually attacks. So you can see here that the fox will only attack forwards, it doesn't attack sideways anymore. Just been working on one final thing to do with the hunting system which is animals that fight back. So some animals when they get attacked instead of continuing to run off they'll actually turn around and try and fight back like this goat here and uh, it's not the most exciting battle scene ever but it all works and at least they now face each other when they're fighting so that's all good but now I'm going to get back to working on the plant species for a bit and do some more settings. So for the last hour I've been working on the plant species again and doing their settings and slowly making my way through that list and I've just been working on a new particle effect for this large tree here. So this afternoon, slowly but surely making more progress with the plant species. I've mainly been working on the trees this afternoon, I want to get them all done first. And uh, as you can see, this list is gradually turning all green, which is good. Uh, but now I'm going to do a bit more work on some animal species. Just been doing some work on the wolf species, which you can see hunting a sheep here, and there's still a bit to do with this, but I'm going to have some dinner now, and then I'll get back to work on it later. It is 11 o'clock now, just finishing off for the day, I'm going to get to bed in a minute, and this evening, again, just working on some more of the trees, getting them crossed off the to-do list, and pretty much all the trees are done now, it's just small plants left and hopefully I should be able to get pretty much all of them done tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it is very early on Saturday morning, uh, I wanted to get up a bit earlier today to go for a morning bike ride while the roads are still clear because it's been a bit of a boring week, I haven't really got out much, I didn't even have tennis this week so I wanted to do something a little bit different this morning and go for a cycle, go to the park, watch the sunrise, and then get back in time for breakfast. It is seven o'clock now, I'm back home from my little morning trip, just having a bit of breakfast. And today, all day today, I'm just going to be trying to finish off all of the species once and for all. Um, it's mostly just plants left, there's a couple of trees, I'm going to finish off all the trees this morning, and then hopefully finish off all of the plants, the smaller plants, this afternoon. Coming up to one o'clock now, just about to stop lunch, and this morning, again, I've just been doing the same thing, going through the trees. I've finished off all the trees now except for two, and those two I actually haven't done the models for the young versions, I realised, so I'll do that this afternoon. But now uh, I just have a handful of plants left to do, and then all the species will be in the game. It's six o'clock in the evening now and as you can see from the list I'm almost finished, there's just a couple more plants left to do and I think I'll finish them off tomorrow. But for now I'm going to have a bit of dinner, then I'm going to get started with this week's editing and then I'll probably get an early night because I'm pretty tired after getting up so early this morning.
So it is now Sunday, today I'm just going to be doing editing for this video. Uh, so in terms of Equinox, that's pretty much going to be it for this week. Um, I'm sorry that the stuff I was working on wasn't particularly interesting, it wasn't particularly interesting for me this week either. Uh, but it all had to be done, and obviously now that the species, all their behaviours and their settings are all now pretty much finished, that's obviously a big step towards finishing the game. Um, it's not all done yet though, there's still a fair amount to be done. Next week I'm going to be working on the evolution trees for the animals, so that's basically how each species is unlocked. And I also need to add all the tasks into the game. And then after that it's a case of just lots and lots of polishing. Um, I want to spend a couple of weeks working on the UI, polishing all that up, and I also need to make quite a few improvements to the engine. But we're getting there, we're getting closer every single week, and I'm still pretty hopeful that the game should be finished by the end of this year. But yeah, for this week that's going to be it, so thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already, have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.